Hi, I'm Jonathan Elias. This is my business. It's called Music To Go. I sell, I rent musical instruments, and as you might imagine, keeping track of employees, inventory, customers, and so on means I work with a lot of information. So what I need is a good database manager, and I need to know how to use it. So what I've got is Microsoft Access 97, and it's a part of the Microsoft Office 97 suite of computer applications. Did you really want me to order bad grits? Hi, Chris. Hi, Jonathan. How are you? No, that's not bad grits. That would be bass guitar. Your handwriting is just terrible. I think you should have been a doctor. I think you should have been a doctor. You and my mother both. Anyway, in the next hour, what I'm going to do is help you learn how to use Access 97. I'll show you the basics, and we'll even go into some of the advanced features of Access. Before we begin, we assume that you're familiar with the fundamentals of using Windows programs on your computer. So you know how to use a mouse or how to work with the menus, toolbars, dialog boxes, and all the other Windows stuff. If you're not familiar with that, you might want to brush up before getting into this course. Now, let's start Microsoft Access. We click on the Start button in the Windows 97 taskbar. We point to Programs to display the program list. Now, by the way, your installation of Access might start a little differently. Next, we'll click on Microsoft Access. And when we do, the Access window appears. Now, if this is the first time you've started an Office 97 application, you're going to be prompted for your name and your initials. The Office applications use this information to keep track of the documents that you create and modify. And if this is the first time you've started Access 97, the Microsoft Office Assistant will display. We'll show you the Office Assistant in just a minute. When we start Access, a dialog box displays asking if we want to create a new database or open an existing one. We'll close this for now by clicking on the Cancel button. In just a little bit, we're going to show you how to create and open databases. But first, let's get back to the Office Assistant. Anytime you want help with something, you can click on this button to display the Microsoft Office Assistant. When we do, the animated Office Assistant appears. The Office Assistant helps you work with Microsoft Office applications. Now, it may offer some tips or help related to the feature that you're working with. And you can ask the Office Assistant questions about Access features. You can even change how the Office Assistant looks and works with the Options button. To close the Office Assistant, we'll click its Close button. When we do, it closes. The rest of the Access screen is similar to other Windows applications, with the title bar, the menu bar, the toolbar, and so on. And don't worry if your screen looks a little different than ours. See, there are lots of ways to change the way Access looks and works. You can use the View menu or the Options choice on the Tools menu. 